Hello, YouTube. I'm Carrie. And I'm Dee Dee. All right. Hello. So, I just read over a few things and I found out that Conrad Murray is, this is referring to Michael Jackson, like my last post. Conrad Murray is going to possibly walk on involuntary manslaughter. I'm totally worn the fuck out. This this is just, it, it's it, it's at, oh man I don't even have words for this bullshit so that means that once the trial goes through at best he'll probably sit in jail for a week and get time served and lose his More license. More than a week, right? If he's not sitting in there ten years, he's not you know <laughs> he got off. The man's dead, and it was his fault. Mind you, Michael did probably ask him to give him some drugs, but he was a medical professional, and he let Mike die. <coughs> what do you think of that? I think he should get more time than what he's getting. And we don't know exactly. We don't know what exactly he's what he's gonna yet, get, but but it, if, it sounds like a get off. If it's if it's probation or something like that, I yeah. think that's. I don't think that's right. I think. He should get more time for his, you know, his part in what happened to this man. And, and you, you, and know, you notice just, how how it's all being done quiet. It's not really right, a, a uh, big splash. You don't splash. hear too much about it unless you're looking for it. Yeah, and it can only lead you to to believe some of the conspiracy theorists <laughs> that maybe Mike Ant did. No, he is. He is. It's just a sad. You know, uh, did I say Ant Ant? <laughs> that he isn't dead. I I, I just can't dead. get I can't get with it, man, because it's, it's too much. It's it's like yeah. everything's on the hutch. Right. When he died, it was every every what for two months. I had not I watched that every day for two months, and then get to the point where okay, his trial. Nobody is. I don't get it. It's sort of like the uh the the Bishop Eddie Long thing. It was big the day it happened, but now that you know that they're. they're in, you know, talked about, you know, how much money, how much money they're going to pay for them to shut up. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all quiet. It. It's like, this is crazy. It's ridiculous. All of this you is know crazy. What? When you get to the point where you feel like you need to pay people off, you're guilty. Yeah. That's I, I, cause I, I know for, I know for a fact, I am not paying you my money. If I know that I didn't do anything wrong, let me tell you something. If, if I, I'm Eddie Long right, and I had, and I knew I didn't do anything, I'm not paying you. I'm gonna fight you. The first you thing is when they had that big old thing where people came to the church that mm -hmm. day. I've been like, I did not fuck them dudes. I am not guilty. And I'm gonna use street language. I didn't fuck them little boys. They, you know, they were troubled young men. And I do, you know, and I did this. He didn't say any of that. He said he didn't throw a stone yet. Well, fuck, I ain't seen one stone yet. You're guilty because when you when you are willing to negotiate some money that you got to take out of your pocket to pay somebody for what? Why are you paying them to shut up? Because you must be guilty. Happened. You're guilty. I'm not. I'm not paying you for something that I know I didn't do. Mm -hmm. And if I have money, to, if they have money, you can fight that in court and get the best lawyers and prove that you're innocent. You're only paying when you know you're guilty and you want the shit to go away. I'm not paying you any money it's, it's, for something I didn't do. I'm going to go to court and fight it and 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 win it. Yeah, because the truth will come out. The truth I has to come anything, out, especially if you can. You wouldn't have no proof. Yeah. They must have proof. They must. He and must have did something. He did something, and there, and there was some type of evidence. Because why would you go out your way to pay and do all this somebody for something that you know you didn't mm -hmm. do? I'm not paying no money out of my pocket for something that I didn't do, and that's just it. And when you start paying people, that means you have some guilt in it, and you just want it to go away. Look how quiet. It I is. don't care about nothing. I, you know how people say, "Oh, I just wanted to get be over with." Fuck that. If I didn't do nothing, I'm gonna fight to the end because I'm. I gotta prove. I'm, I gotta be right. I gotta show mm -hmm. you that I didn't do this shit, and I'm not paying you any money. I'm gonna fight you. If any money I'm paying is to to fight you in court to prove that I'm innocent. That's how I feel about that. I'm not gonna be paying you thousands of dollars or whatever you're gonna pay millions. Who knows? For something that I didn't do. He did it, you know. Possibly did it, and and now he just wants it to go. No, away. possibly, I think he did. He was guilty of something. It's wearing me out. All of this is wearing me out yeah, because it's all quiet something. now. First, mm -hmm. first, like I haven't thrown a stone. 
and no. and everybody's throwing their rocks and like all nah, that bitch. shit about rocks and stones. Look, yeah, if somebody was throwing that many rocks and stones, then you go to court and you fight it to make sure that yeah. the rocks and stones that they throwing ain't hitting you because you had nothing to do with it. Yeah, it's like look, bitch, I ain't had nothing to do with this. I mean, so that to was me, fucking that's each an, other, but you, I wasn't fucking. That's you. an admission of guilt. Yeah, when that's you, an admission of guilt. Willing to pay somebody off out of your pocket for something that you didn't do, you know, that's. I'm sure he wouldn't want it, wouldn't want wouldn't want to ordinarily like pay money out. You know, you don't know how much mm-hmm. he paid. Then how many three or four for him? You got to pay yeah, all like of them. Three or four of them cats, and, and all you don't want to come up off that money, but you feel you have to because you don't want all that shit, to, all that scandal to come out. You don't want the details of what really went on. Mm-mm. And you're a big pastor, you know. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, back to the Michael Jackson. I think that's sad that that man is getting off. I really think he should do more time. I do think that um, Michael Jackson was is guilty because he was partially guilty of it because that's your life. You're taking drugs. You wanted this man to administer this shit to you. Now, when you put when something, when you notice somebody's giving you anesthesia, you got to be put out. You don't know what you got to think of that kind of shit. I, I, I'm afraid to get anesthesia just under surgery. You don't know what somebody is, what they're doing to you once you are unaware. Right. So you, you put your life into this man's hands, basically. Because he's a medical professional. Yeah, but medical professional or not. Yeah, he should know what he's doing, but at the same time, you know, the man is gone, he's dead, but he had some responsibility that too, for that too. But he can't, he can't speak for himself now because he's dead. Yeah. So this man, I don't think he should walk free or just, you know, just get out or whatever. He should lose his license because if anything, Ooh. he should lose his license. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, if he don't go to jail, he should not. He shouldn't be able to be doing practicing. Um, you know what he do? What he's a surgeon or whatever he's a he is. Cardiologist. He should not be able to do that kind of work anymore because he's negligent. Uh, it's, I'm just pissed how, off. How do we know he don't give somebody else some anesthesia and walk away and, and kill him? Well, I, I, I don't think that's something that he normally would do because he well, wasn't licensed to do it. But the, the he problem... Wasn't licensed, see, he wasn't licensed to yeah, give anesthesia, was, right? Right. Like that as a regular routine every At day. home. At home. Mike was in some big shit, but because when you're in the Mike hospital, was in some big shit. But the the, the thing is, this dude killed him, look, and and look, he's responsible have, for that. When you're in the hospital, and, and you have a staff, that, right? It's not because yeah. you you have other people. So if there's something an goes wrong, everybody, yeah. yeah, yes, you do your part, and then the anesthesiologist does it. He was doing anesthesia when that's not really his thing, not and his this thing. man died. So I don't think he should get off. He should do some time for that. Mm-hmm. He should do some time for that. You know, but he's not all to blame. But he's what's left. If if Michael Jackson had lived, then he had just almost killed him, it would have been a different story. Mm-hmm. You know, but he had, you know what I mean? Like, if he had gave him something, he had went to cardiac, went into cardiac arrest, but then they got him back. Yeah. Then all the questions would be at Michael Jackson. So what, what's, what happened here? What are you doing? But he's gone, so now, yeah, I think he should do time. I don't think he should walk away from this because it's not fair. If that was my child, I would definitely want to see him in jail. At least for 10, 15 years. For a good long period of time, because yeah, because you that was somebody's life, you know. And if you if you didn't feel comfortable with doing it, you shouldn't have did it. If it could have been somebody else, well, right. same thing for them. But see how cash messes everything up. Cash rules everything around. I people. told you, I wouldn't. I don't. I don't, I don't know, know if I would have not done it. Well, but get, it's the biggest thing. <laughs> <laughs> if maybe if you I mean, paid me because if, if I know this, this is a big job, you know, I'm like, okay, well, I have to be focused. I can't, you know, I'm sorry, you know, baby, I need to sleep. But I'm saying at, if, in the daytime, and I need to get over the mics and and, and drug it. If up. you gave me a million dollars to just inject you once, I take that shit and run. Well, and I, make sure you are right, and then I'm tell you find another person. Well, I would have done the that. whole That's just job crazy. and done it right. And got him through but the tour. This man, and then you know we moved on. This man got comfortable, and he probably was used to doing it, and didn't think that nothing was gonna go wrong. And then it did, and he started hiding the shit when he realized he had killed this man. And then he tried to hide the stuff. I think I, he no, I, do I, I really think he did when he noticed Mike was dead. Was that he went in that bathroom and and started trying to figure out how he gonna get this money out? What they were saying, he was grabbing up the stuff, trying yeah. to hide everything, <laughs> getting everything and. Trying to get he was getting money. everything out and grabbing that shit fast, probably moving, trying mm-hmm. to get the fuck out of it. He probably wanted to run. Yeah, because he, in a statement, said he, he wanted to get back to the house to get a couple creams that Brother Mike wouldn't want the world to know he had. It, I mean, he was already pale. We he already was trying to get all that shit he was, he was trying to get the money and, and all the evidence. Stuff. Yeah. It, it, you know, so he wanted to get paid after he killed this man, too. He did inject him. So he, he wanted his money. Job. Whatever. I think he should. I want to see. I want to see. 
what's going to happen with this And then piece. to see the thing that happened with Usher, he got booed. Oh, gosh, and yeah. I wonder what's wrong with Usher, man, because I Nothing, really want him to do well. Yeah. He's wearing me his, out. You know what? His time is up. No, no, his time can't how, be up. How long he's been? What, 10, 15 years? Yeah, he's been in the game a while. So his time it's is up. I mean, it's over. Baby. I mean, you say you only, you you would say all the time you only get like five or ten years, and then after that you got to go off and rediscover yourself and come back. Yeah, but right now, if if he he's the only black male R and B singing artist that can go off and do a big tour, and for him to fuck up and and, and look like when he got on the stage he was already making excuses. You know, I love y'all and blah blah blah. I'm like, are you high? He's Finish tired. The I think show. he's just fucking tired. He should have did like Beyonce or somebody. And, he's and tired. The show he's tired. Off. He's tired. He should have been and a he, diva. And guess what? He should be tired. All them fucking years, all that hard work. Go sit down and take a he rest. He was out <laughs> off. He was off from work for about two or three take years. Take a rest and go sit down somewhere. We don't. The people don't really, you know. He has some fans, but okay, whatever. Moving right along. He's just fucking um, it up because now there's he's nobody. Been, he's very. He's been very successful. Yeah, but he's there's been nobody. In the game. There's nobody. Okay. I mean, no, he can't Stones do it. Somebody, can go new, back and, somebody uh, new needs to come. This would be, it no, he's, be, he, he needs to be standing on two. Well, yeah, he is. Because, maybe he was just tired. And when he get his rest, he gonna, he, maybe he really didn't feel good. But let's give him the benefit of the doubt. He really just didn't feel good. And he didn't feel like performing. There's, no. I know that if I was a, if I was a, a R&B artist. I should get your shit together. Okay? You're the last person. The only man standing. Ten years from now, you should be doing what Mike was getting ready to do. Well, tell that to the people that's over him, because they're probably telling him he's a failure. He's, he's his own fucking industry. They're probably Anybody telling call him me he's a failure, a... bitch, you fired. Well, for how <laughs> Look long? Look at Beyonce. Everybody who say they worked with Beyonce say, no, you work for Beyonce. And then nobody ain't going to want to work for her after a while. That shit going to turn around. You got to watch how you're treating people and what you're saying to people, and don't take your celebrity... Don't let your celebrity go to your head because just to, just as you get up there, you will fucking well, come down. Her whole down. job depends on her and whether she can do the job. Or well, not. and guess it's just what? Just like him, a lot of yes. people lost when money. You that have night. a lot of pressure on you like that. Who wouldn't think about it? Who wouldn't at some point crack when you've done, done all mm -hmm. this work or who all these be years? Evil and facetious. Who you know, him? like anybody? For I, I, all this is dependent upon me. If I can't do the job, if you bitches is holding right. me up, so then you know. I will like stop and show you. you no all bitches work for me. And I said the show ain't going on tonight, and I'm sick. Now y'all fix this. And they gonna say, "Bitch, you you, you out it. here to perform, perform." Mm -hmm. But she say, she ain't never did nothing like that. She get out and do her this, shows. Him and Neil then did the same crazy she, shit. Just no, got on she, stage, just like that's. They was tired. I mean, that's their profession, but it seemed very, very, very unprofessional to get up there. And and give you know if you knew you couldn't do it, don't do it. If you knew you were sick and you had an upper respiratory infection, you should have put a statement out and say, "I'm sick. I have an upper respiratory infection, and I'm just going to reschedule these shows. The tickets that you have, y'all can use them for the rescheduled date, and just come on back instead of because that would have been much to me. That would have been much better than just stand up there like the way he did." And walk, and you know, he just was like, you know, wandering on the he stage. Like, you looked lost, like you was confused, like you didn't know if you wanted to do the show or what. You know, that made it look bad. He could have just re rescheduled the tour because he had an ailment and go ahead and get your rest and then come back. Yeah. But I'm I'm just crazy. You know, all this shit seems crazy to me. I don't know. See y'all later, YouTube. I'm, I'm just worn out. About the whole thing. And um, shout out to Eddie Long. <laughs> you suck them dicks they, and no, you get off. Don't say it like that. You can really get off. Thank y'all for watching you and please subscribe to us. Please subscribe. Oh, yeah, and comment. Thank you. And leave a comment. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>